up in Loretto, Kentucky. I lived in Holy Cross. Daddy was a good, hard-working farmer. Grandmother Nevitt was a, a very t a tiny lady. And Grandpa Nevitt was a very kind and humble man and lived, so, of course, in, in Nelson. We knew each other in high school. We rode the same bus. Uh, but we never, we were just friends in high school till after he came out of the service. And then we got to know each other better. Well, I was, I was drafted in the military at age, at age 19 uh, because of the Vietnam War uh, buildup. I got sent uh, to Fort Gordon, Georgia for military police school. We were losing the MPs left and right to go to Vietnam. So when I, when I came on orders to go to Vietnam, they were canceled because of the lack of military police on post. So I ended up staying stateside and uh, uh, we ended up doing duty of training to go to Vietnam as well as doing post duty and doing town patrol. How did you propose? <laughs> It was uh, at Christmas time, mm -hmm. and uh, I just I had bought her a ring, and it was very simple. I just just gave it to her, and mm -hmm. actually in the car, and asked her to marry me. It was a beautiful November day, Thanksgiving day. Yeah, little, little snowed a little bit mm -hmm. later in the day, but. Just a nice sunny fall day. The church was full. Probably 300. Mm-hmm, 300. Everybody had a good time I hear at the, our reception <laughs> later before we'd already left. Church has always been something that uh, our, our parents always instilled in us. Uh, from the time that we were very small until that was how we left we left home you didn't think about not going to church on Sunday and uh, I don't care if you as a teenager or 18 19 years old and and uh, you were out most of the night you you were going to get up and go to church uh, Sunday mass was something that it was not in question whether you were going to do or not. You you were going to do it. Sunday was always a big family day, and we too grew up with our mom cooking three three meals a day. Most of the time, we'd have country sausage and, and or shoulder or country ham fried up for for breakfast, and uh, that was always. Kind of, kind of my favorite. If we didn't have people at the house, we would go to one of my aunts and our uncles, and they would have the, have the dinners. My mother was the only one lived out here in the country, and all her sisters lived in Louisville. So they would come out. They thought that was a big treat coming out on Sunday, and we all visit each other during the week. We were only married a year when. When we had our first child came, uh, Chuck, we were both, both both working at the time and uh, living in Lebanon and in a small two bedroom house, paying a big sixty dollars a month for rent. And uh, what ten dollars for groceries? Uh, yeah, and Jane was a driving week. a fifty one Ford, and I was driving a, a sixty seven Ford Fairlane, and uh, but we were. We were happy as a lark. We had. Mm -hmm. I was expecting Chad. You see, Chuck was. We built uh, in 73. 73. 1973, yeah. Chuck was uh, three years old, just turned three when we moved to this house we built. And we've always lived here since October 1973. I went to work as at the hospital in Lebanon, Kentucky. And I went to transcription school and. Uh, I worked there till I met Jean. <laughs> when I graduated high school, I had not planned on going on to, on to college, which was very difficult in mid sixties because of uh, finances. And uh, I went to work at uh, General Electric daily, and I was working in in production. 
and I worked a year and a half there until I got drafted into, into the military in 66. And well, while I was in the military, I served as military police. And when I came out, I intended to go to a police academy and become a police officer. But in the meantime, I went back to, to General Electric and, and then started changing what I was doing and got, went into the engineering field at, uh, at GE and worked as an engineering technician till I, till I retired in, in, in 2000. And started out, like I said, in production, and I went for, from production into uh, engineering labs doing testing on, on air conditioners, dishwashers and components to uh, approve them for production. And in the last 10 years or so, I worked in microwaves Never did become a police officer, but uh, it was something I really kind of always wanted wanted to do. But uh, I had a good career at, at GE and it provided a good living for for us and the family. Chuck was then the oldest. Uh, as a teenager, he uh, was never in really in trouble. He loved. Uh, Loved to be with the the girls, and uh, <laughs> and uh, wasn't as much into sports as uh, Miss Chad was our se our second one. But Chuck was a good was. athlete. He did, uh, he he was very quick, quick and agile, and uh, and Chuck got into playing playing golf and softball. He he was more into going out and having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, He's also a very very caring person. He's got a big heart. He he got his degree in social work, and uh, he it worked. He would work real well for what almost 20, 20, years. 20 years as a social worker in the schools. Chad, but Chad became uh, bigger in, as as time went on, and excelled uh, more in, in in baseball and basketball. School work came pretty easy for him, and as long as he did enough to <laughs> get by, to get by, which he could do rather easily. Uh, Janice, uh, she was uh, always very attached to, to me, wanted to be everywhere mm -hmm. that I was, and, and she, I guess, relied on me a, a lot to, uh, for her, her needs and, and wants more, I guess. I think the Kentucky lifestyle, the country living, is more suited to Janice. Janice, but. never have a... I knew she didn't want to get away from home very far, not very far. She was always a homebody, so she became a nurse. She was always a caring, but wanted to take care of people. And then Jennifer came along, and Jennifer was more of a independent spirit. Uh, loved loved the school, her academics, and uh, that, that made, meant a lot to her. She uh, she always pushed herself to. To be to be the best, and uh, to uh, regardless of what she done, uh, she got in politics, uh, started branching out, and, and went from University of Kentucky to Democratic Party to uh, Washington D.C. with Ben Chandler, and then on to Boston. We have 15 all together. Yeah, well, from your visits here. <laughs> When we're all here, like especially at Christmas, Thanksgiving, or just when you guys are, or, or we have a big family get together, you know how hectic it can be be around here. And uh, but uh, I guess we wouldn't have it any other, any other way. Even though I guess as we get older, it gets a little bit more demanding all the time. I'm trying to keep, to keep up, but I think it's something we'll we'll never never regret being able to do. I like the way their ages are too, 24, to four. And 24 and four. It's never, they keep us young. We've got, we're growing, you know, phases of teenagers and oh, college. So we, they keep us on our toes. Well, I think the number one thing I always think about is, is our passing down our, our religion, you know. Our faith not, in God. It isn't necessarily, yeah, our faith in God. Yes, I faith don't in think God. it has to be, just because we've been Catholic all of our lives doesn't mean it, it has to be Catholic. Always remembering to keep God first, God first in, your, in, in your life. And secondly is family staying together. 
it's all it's always most important I think in, in society and, yes and in families well they have little quarrels and whatever but you always need to look at the big picture and be the bottom line what the most important thing is being true to you being true to yourself I, I think you know you can have a, a different opinion you know whatever but respect the other person's opinion be yourself and res- respect uh, other other people's uh, opinion being a caring person not only about yourself but but other people, other people you know, you're willing to care for other people's uh, needs as, as any way you can just having God in my life and Jean and my family that's the most and my health you know but that's last but having God and I bet we're so blessed with all all of y'all I mean everybody no. our family our you know we have everything we need